Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, just finished my morning cardio and we are microdosing on psilocybin now. Yes, really, really beneficial to my workouts and to cognitive performance as well. I strongly recommend it, but I will do a specific video on microdosing as well. Today's video, however, is about the carnivore diet again yes many many times i hear bobby i switched to the carnivore diet and i'm making all kinds of gains yes i have to hear statements like that quite often lately and in today's video i want to elaborate why that is what is happening when people tell you that they're making all kinds of gains on a carnivore diet and veganism on the other hand made them skinny guys i'm very very privileged that i got into bodybuilding when i was 16 years old since then i experienced every single diet on this planet i did the carnivore diet before it was called the carnivore diet back in the day it was the ketogenic diet then it became the anabolic diet even in bodybuilding circles so therefore i really experienced every single diet there is and i had to learn what it truly means to understand nutrition and what it truly means to pursue bodybuilding therefore i am in a position where i know exactly what i need to do when i want to bulk up i know exactly what i need to do when i want to shred and if i want to maintain i know exactly what to do for the last 15 years i've been experimenting on my own body with clients so on and so forth so therefore i came into veganism with a very very clear understanding of what nutrition is for me it is all about the macro adjustments and therefore i know what to eat when I need more protein, so on and so forth. But most people, I said it before, on a vegan diet have no idea what they're truly eating. They are hearing statements that as long as you eat enough calories, you will have enough protein. And therefore, they're eating rice, they're eating pasta, they're eating some processed foods, so on and so forth. And at the end of the day, they're maybe at 50, 60, 70 grams of protein tops. When they switch to a carnivorous diet, by default, every single food item is high in protein. What are you eating? Meat, obviously. Some people are eating eggs. Some people incorporate dairy. Every single food item comes with high amounts of protein. And therefore, by default, you will ingest more protein. And therefore, by default, you will make gains. Therefore, it is not about the carnivore diet it is not about veganism it is about tracking your macros many people say that weight watchers help them to lose so much weight it is weight watchers the holy grail of course it isn't weight watchers it is the caloric deficit it is about eating less but the interface of weight watchers the interface of that point system allows people to handle their diets easier they just have to follow those steps and hence by default they will eat less and by default they will lose weight the same applies to the carnivore diet if you eat high protein foods only of course it is easier to meet your protein needs at the end of the day back in the day when i was omnivorous before starting bodybuilding i really hated animal products and therefore my breakfast was cornflakes or just plain toast with margarine on top for lunch i would have pasta with tomato sauce and for dinner i might have cornflakes again with chocolate milk so therefore in total i would maybe get 30 grams of protein myself as an omnivore when i got into bodybuilding i had to face those facts i had to find protein sources 
that was before vegan bodybuilding hence i incorporated a ton of animal products i was eating greek yogurt i was eating meats i was eating eggs so on and so forth in order to get my protein up it was totally disgusting i really hated animal products but this is what i had to do in order to make gains i took that logic and i applied it to a whole food plant-based diet i calculated my protein intake and i adjusted the foods accordingly this is what you have to do on a plant-based diet so this is truly what i see at the moment people with little to no knowledge in nutrition hop from diet to diet and some diets happen to have more protein and are therefore more beneficial to their personal goals the same can apply to veganism if you want to lose weight for some people veganism is the perfect way to lose weight because they cannot handle the quantity of foods back in the day raw veganism on the other hand was the perfect detox diet because by default you would eat only unprocessed foods i get it there's a lot of conflicting information out there and it can be overwhelming but what is truly important is to keep the basics in mind you have to get your macro ratio right once you get that right everything else follows easily it is supremely easy to follow those steps as i said i could take my bodybuilding macros from omnivorous days and apply them to veganism easily i understand if you have a busy schedule you cannot wrap your head around those facts as i said before i'm offering personalized meal plans personalized coaching in order to help you guys out so therefore if you say man this shit is too complicated bobby help me out no worries contact me on facebook or on instagram and i am there for you but what i'm saying here is it is easier than people make you believe it is it is the same macronutrient ratio that you need to apply in order to make gains and that is as i stated before two grams of protein per body weight kilogram minimum if you apply that omnivorous pescatarian vegan vegetarian what have you it doesn't matter it will work now the only thing that you have to take into account do i want to gain weight do i need to lose weight and go from there do i need a caloric surplus a caloric deficit so on and so forth all right but i'm ranting here guys all i want to say here is it is not about the carnivore diet it is not about the magical properties in meat that you are making gains but it is due to the higher protein consumption all right guys and this is it for today's video if you liked it leave me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do so and as always guys much love and Peace. Ah! Ron? What in the devil's name is this? Portobello mushrooms. Where's the steak? Oh, there's no steak. That's a healthier option. It's organically grown. Oh. Are you okay? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. okay. Would you like to sample our vegan bacon? 100% meatless. Yes, please. Another, please. Sir, is there a problem? I'm just making sure no one ever has to eat this.